Good morning. How are you? I am fine. Thank you for asking. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Maya and I am your host of Motivation and Muscles with Maya. Ting, that's me. It is August 1st, 6.45 in the morning. I'm just leaving the gym. My trainer is back from vacation. So, uh, yeah, we're getting to work. We have about six weeks until the show. I have made, I have met my weight goal. I am currently 137. So, I'm kind of figuring I'll get on stage weighing maybe 132-ish. Um, it doesn't really matter at this point because when you get on stage, they're not weighing you. So, um, but the way my food is looking and the, you know, the amount of time that I'm working out, so on and so forth. And of course, with me weighing 137, my guess is in the next six weeks, I'll be about 132. Um, if not a tad bit lower. But anywho, my meal plan has changed. So the minute I get home, I get to, well, my first meal hasn't changed. I still get to have four ounces of chicken breast and a cup of oatmeal, which I eat dry. Yeah. Um, but I was finishing up my cardio and I was just thinking, wow, I've had the mentality that, you know, I work out, I do my cardio, I go home, I do this thing called prep life when I'm prepping for a show alone. And, and now that I think about it, not so much like when I am prepping, just when I'm working out, when I have to do cardio, I prefer to do things alone. Um, when I go downtown to the Beltline here in Atlanta, I go alone. I don't call anyone. I go alone. Unless my husband comes with me. Um, my cardio, I do it alone. Um, my workout, although it's very individualized based on your, your needs, your body needs, um, I put on my headphones and there's other people there and I normally don't speak or whatever, but something's different. <laughs> and in the past, I've always said one of the biggest reasons why I don't need people in reference to working out is because I don't want to deal with the excuses. Oh, my baby's father has to come pick up the kids and I have to wait. And oh, my kid, I have to cook for the kids or I can't go because I'm tired or I didn't want to deal with the excuses. But this time around, I am seeing that my thought process was wrong. I need people. I need like-minded people and I need to be a lot more graceful and forgiving and patient with people because guess what waiting for the kids father to come and babysit the kids and gotta cook for the kids these are real life things although I don't struggle with those things at this season in my life these are real issues for people and although people make it excuses there's a lot of the times that's their reality at the time well I've come to this realization because God has blessed me with a gym bestie um, and I've known her for about maybe Maybe, a, maybe two years, maybe a little over two years, but we are going to be in the same show September 10th in Savannah, and we have really gotten close. 
and I'm excited. I'm excited to go through this journey with someone who understands, who gets it, who pushes me, I push her. We encourage each other. It's nice. You know, it's just nice. And although she's in a different season of life than me, it's just nice. So it's changed my perspective. So I'm saying all of that to say, you need people. It doesn't matter if it's, if it's in reference to working out or at your job or whatever the, the case may be. We need people. We were not created to be alone, right? And I am so good to isolate myself. I'm so good. I'm good for that. And I'm so good at it that I'm really used to it. And having friends is almost weird. <laughs> kind of, sort of, you know? Because it's normally... When I do hang out, it's with my husband or it's with my family, you know, but I do have a life and I do want a life outside of them. It's okay. But back to my gym bestie, it's just, it's such a blessing. It's such, you know, and we are not exclusive to just the gym outside the gym several times a day we're checking in with each other keeping each other motivated making sure that we stay on track with our eating it's a beautiful thing and I'm thankful I'm, I'm thankful for the realization and I'm thankful for her and every chance I get, I let her know that I'm thankful and grateful for her. You know, my husband used to get on to me because I used to tell him, I don't have any friends. And I mean, I have friends, but just not like somebody who I can call and say, hey girl, you know. Which is one of the reasons why I'm on YouTube because you guys are my friends, right? And my husband always makes fun of me and he says, Maya, you get a friend and six months later, you find a reason why you can't be friends with them anymore. And that's kind of true. But the thing about it is I become irritated very quickly. I'm not really the gossiping type. Um, you know, I don't, uh, I mean, I like a good key, but it, if every time we hang out, hang out, we're gossiping about someone over time, my patience just wears very, very thin. And also if I meet someone and they have a lifestyle where they always want to go out and eat and drink, that is not the path that I'm currently on so I mean okay so yeah but anyway I will tell you that this lifestyle of preparing for a show it really puts a lot of um, healthy restriction um, in your life it's just certain things you can't do um, and certain things you just really don't want to do because guess what when you step on stage your competitor the girl to the right and to the left of you wasn't doing those things right so yeah so you need people and give people grace and be kind and that's just not being kind and graceful in person, but if you're anything like me, I'm not kind in my head. Woo. I got to work on that. But anyway, I'm gonna go. 
over the weekend we celebrated my birthday and oh my goodness I have got to make a whole nother video about the spa that we went to it's a 24-hour spa I need to remind myself to talk about that experience okay I'm gonna go I love you guys thank you for listening I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my drive home you guys be blessed, stay humble, pray often. I love you. Bye.